Okay, so I've got tons of gaming computer boxes. These are all the boxes for my gaming computer. And they're all in my brother's room the other day, and I decided I might as well do something with them, so I kind of set them up. Well, not really, but still. Um, and, you know, I decided I might as well set them up, so I did. And, uh, sorry about the light there. The lighting here is terrible for taking a video, so, anyway. I tried to place them logically. I got my, uh, motherboard there in the processor and video, in, uh, not video card. RAM right there and the video card right there. And, uh, you may notice that we have two motherboard boxes. That's because we got this one and it broke. Well, it was a dud, I guess, because it didn't work. And that's what happens when you get the DP45S3 motherboard. It does have two PCI Express slots, four RAM slots, LGA775 processor socket, tons of outputs and all that good stuff. But it's a really good motherboard. Only thing is, the first one didn't work. We made the horrific mistake of buying our computer parts over quite a long time. So, you know, by the time we had the computer piece together, the warranty and new egg was already done for that thing. I bugged my dad for a year to get the warranty. The new egg, I mean, the um, Intel warranty on it renewed, but, you know. He never really cooperated, so we ended up buying a new one. Um, so there's a newer box, so there's really nothing different about it, except for the fact that this one came with Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 and, and a World of Warcraft. This one didn't come with anything. But, uh, you know. DP45SG. So this is the type of motherboard where you buy it and either works or it doesn't. You're lucky if it works. First one had booting problems, or wouldn't boot, it would just kind of turn on, but wouldn't boot. It had USB failures, all that good crap. I ran out of space there, but I got my Intel Core 2 Duo E8500 processor right here. It's a 3.16 gigahertz. I was going to get the 3.33 for the thing, but that was too much, and I said it wasn't really worth it to get, you know, like, 1 point, I mean, 0.17 more gigahertz just for, like, 50 bucks more. So it's got 3.16 gigahertz frequency, FSB of 1333 megahertz, 6 megabyte L2 cache, 45 NM core, socket LGA 775, PCG06. Anyway, it's E8500. It's really nice. Well, the stock cooler didn't really cut. I ended up buying a new cooler for it, which is this Freezer 7 Pro thing. It's a pretty big thing. I have it in one of my, uh, videos on one of my really old gaming computer updates even though I had no idea what the heck I was doing at that time. I thought the uh I thought my um old uh my old heat sink wasn't working right but it's just that I had to put it on correctly. That's what wasn't working. So I bought a new one. Even though I really don't need it that much but hey it's still cool. Uh I've got four gigs of Corsair XMS three RAM, thirteen thirty three megahertz C A S nine. DDR3. That's exactly what it looks like. It's cool stuff. The power supply box. 850 watts stable power. Nothing much. Got this handle on top. That's cool. But an enormous power supply for my computer, though. Kind of overkill. Because I didn't really feel like taking the time to actually really see how much power I needed. I could have got by with a 450, but whatever. This is my NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GTX Plus video card. I made a video on it. You can probably click on the screen right there to see the video. The video keep in mind that the video is really old. I made it a long time ago with my brother, and it's kind of stupid, I have to admit. So there's the back of the box. So it's lots of tons of obvious features. Overclock oh, there's an overclocking utility. Cool. Yeah, it's on the CD. The only thing is, I think I lost the CD. I don't, I don't I know where it is, to mind. It has two outputs in the back. It's a big card. It takes up two slots. I don't know what games those are. Sorry about my terrible camera abilities here, but... I also bought this LED tri-cool thing. Um, and the reason I bought this was because I, bl I literally blew up my uh, fan to my um, rear fan to my computer. I was hooked it up around the wire exploded. So I bought a new one. It's called three three LEDs actually three speeds. Even has a manual set on it. Also you set to slow, medium, or fast. But I have it hooked up to the motherboard, so the motherboard will be able to uh, control it. 
It was 20 bucks at Staples. It's pretty cool. You know, I have a Razor Death Adder mouse. Um, that's cool. It's a very nice mouse, very comfortable. Nice box, too. And, uh, I do not have the box to my, uh, Guardian 921 case, and I do not have the box to my headset. But, you know, um, the box to my, uh, case is really big in blue and black, and it says NZXC Guardian 921 on it. And I don't feel like getting it because it's in the attic of our barn right now. So, um, I don't know where my headset box is. We actually bought two of the headsets since Brian smashed one of them in anger. But, you know, that's enough, I guess. This video is long enough, but, uh, I guess it's a video on all my boxes. Kind of pointless, but okay. I also got tons of magazines. See, my dad's got back from England today. Got tons of magazines. Maybe we should make a video on that. You guys can tell me in the comments if you actually want to see a video on magazines, English magazines, about computers and stuff. But whatever, that's enough. See you later. Bye.